I was gonna say, feel free to insert yourself, but that's not at all. Yeah, I don't know. Baby Crockett butter, that's what we use. Damn, I'm still- <laughs> Ever made because- That's the stupidest combination of four <laughs> things that I've ever heard. It's all in the hips. That was it, that was- No, start that over. I didn't realize I was still hooked up here. So, so funny stuff, you know, you were talking about uh, commanders. We were talking about commanders earlier. So this is the gentleman's carry, which you've, you've mentioned to me that you like the look of this gun. I love that gun. So um, some fun things to do that kind of freak people out in the 1911 world is this is a commander. So if you look at all the, the four and a quarter inch commanders that uh, Cabot has, it's the same gun underneath, okay? Sure. So it's just the finish. So this commander, and your vintage classic, it's underneath the same gun. Sure. Because yep. it's, it's a Commander 45. Right. Now, this is a full cycle gun. So it's got the full length rails um, and, when they shorten the frame rail. And 1911s were originally, you know, I mean, it was designed as a five inch gun. Yeah. Like it was designed as that, not, not four that. and a quarter. So yeah. like that's how it was made to cycle and meant to cycle in 45. Well, which so, is why some companies have problems with nine is my understanding. It's like nine is a little problematic for some people because that's not, not as what problematic as 10 millimeter. That's a... That's a very yeah. difficult round. But anyway, that's another thing. So so this is a commander gun, mm -hmm. all right? This right here, let's just go to the Grand Torino because you are just talking about it. This is a five-inch gun. Now, under normal circumstances, you wouldn't sit here and go, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and pop the slide off. And this there's a spring in here, and the guide rod's going to go flying. Normally, you wouldn't take apart your commander gun and then go to your five inch gun, do the same thing. Pop the slide off without scratching it. So you wouldn't normally take your full size gun, your slide and your barrel, and then slap it onto your commander frame, would you? I would debate I don't think it's actually really possible because everything's, you know, hand fit, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Like a Glock slide? Sure. Oh, yeah. I yeah, mean. You could drop a different Glock slide barrel, whatever, in there. On so, that, like, this seems, so, seems like blasphemy right now. Yeah. So we just took a five inch gun and we put it on a four and a quarter inch frame. But that's because this is a full cycle commander frame. God, that is. Really Isn't that weird? weird. And then, all, so. The difference, this is what got me to, is when I got into 1911s recently, very recently, You're absurdly welcome. recently because of You're welcome. Papa Dwyer here, um, I didn't understand a lot of the differences, but these guns are manufactured to just unbelievable tolerances. But this, this slide is from a different gun mm -hmm. than this frame, mm -hmm. okay? Get up tight here on the back. Look at that fit. I mean, it, it's, it's seamless. It's seamless. This, this fit is what other companies would love to have. And I just took a slide off of one gun and put it on the other. But you know what's super weird? Is the fact that I'm gonna put my ears on. So this this barrel, I mean, it's, it's normally, you know, barrel slide fit with the lugs and everything. That's really important. I'm not gonna swap barrels out or anything. But this barrel is fit to a different different frame. It's not as important as the slide, but we just did that. So we got five inch slide on a commander frame. It's so contrary to It's just so weird that this works. Yeah, I mean, it's that's just strange. That is voodoo, black magic. You went to the Amazon, you did some ayahuasca, and somehow this gun came out of the. Equipment. And you know what's funny? I mean, it looks really weird, but it doesn't look that bad. It actually doesn't. I mean, somehow that two tone combo is kind of that actually looks kind of cool. And works. No shoot it. There's there's nothing about nice 1911s that suggest that anything could be dropped in from one gun to another. There's 
there's nothing about that equation that makes any sense. It's odd. The funny thing is it shoots smooth. It's like it like this isn't you know, if I was pulling the trigger right now and you were like, it shoots, but it's like no, it shoots fine. Like it feels like that goes together. Yeah, odd. I don't know how to describe that. That is just that is just strange. 